Crossing borders, the two candidates for U.S. president are making what they call their closing arguments to voters in this final week before the election. VOA's senior Washington correspondent, Caroline Presuti, brings us the sights and sounds from two rallies. We're getting to that story a bit later, but as we wait for it, the Council of Governors has urged the national government through the Ministry of Agriculture to allocate fertilizer funds and grants directly to county governments. The governors argue that agriculture is a devolved function and each county should be allocated its share to cater for their farmers' needs. Catherine Imuraget with these and other stories on the Roundup. Speaking during a consultative meeting between the Council of Governors and the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development at White Sands Resort in Mombasa, the governors reiterated the need to allocate funds directly to the county governments to cater for the needs of farmers and enhance food security in the country. We cannot have fertilizer. There is one size fits all for every, every part of Kenya. There are people who usually do crops that are different from what the fertilizer is meant for. The idea is how can we do our work better between the two levels of government. If there is no co-creation between the counties and the national government. Elsewhere, the third annual Pan-Africa Chemistry Network Congress 2024 has been held at the University of Nairobi in Nairobi. The event celebrating 16 years of significant achievements in the field of chemistry. The forum brought together over 200 stakeholders from various countries. The Congress highlighted the impactful milestone of the Pan-Africa Chemistry Network, focusing on the empowerment of young chemists through workshops and discussions. Uh, and of course, over the past 16 years, the Royal Society of Chemistry has uh, invested along with its partners a significant amount of uh, funding in making sure that the uh, network moves along. I encourage all delegates in this room and those who are part of the Pan-African Chemistry Network to double your efforts in providing solutions in the face of new challenges faced by the African agriculture. The Director of Public Prosecution has declined to withdraw a forger case against a middle-aged woman. Faduma Maya, through a lawyer, had filed an application in the office of DPP seeking to have the case terminated, claiming that she was wrongly charged. She also said that case emanated from a family dispute that could be heard and determined in a civil court. But in a quick response, the prosecution counsel Virginia Karaoke told the court that the application by the accused had been declined. Faduma was also accused of forging a marriage certificate on 11th March 2024 to secure a share in the succession case in a commercial court in Milmani. A Malindi family is crying for justice following the fatal shooting of a grade 6 pupil by an administration police officer last Saturday night. However, the police claims James Masmongala, 17 year, was shot dead after threatening to attack officers on patrol. Speaking to journalists at Malindi Community Human Rights Center, the boy's mother, Grace Kambi Id Mulewa, said, her son was innocent as he had no history of any criminal involvement. Catherine Imuraget, KT News. Suckling back to that story on the U.S. election, are the two candidates for U.S. President.